Big head shakes, my yep, god. we're at the leader. Oh yeah, yeah, big, big, big fish, big. he's right below you. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's big. That's a big fish. Every time I get her close, she head shakes. Okay, that's gonna be it. Yep, there we go. Oh my goodness. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NB Edits. Today, Nick and I are up here in the north woods of Wisconsin. Goal for today is to get on some massive walleyes. Big mamas. We're not looking for small walleyes. We've seen a couple people out catching some fish through the ice already, but today we are up here in the Northwoods. We are gonna hammer some fish, hopefully getting into some giant, giant walleyes. This is a lake that we pretty much dream of coming to. Once it gets to about middle fall, late fall, this is the lake we cannot wait until it freezes. Now, this is not a body of water. You are gonna come out here and catch 50 walleyes, no. This is a lake you might only get three flags all night, but they all are gonna be over seven pounds, which if you guys are from the Northwoods or anything about Wisconsin, you know, up here, um, a seven pound fish or anything bigger than that is a giant. So yeah. a lot of dinosaurs in this lake. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna pop up some pictures from the last like 10 years that me and him, my family, our friends, all of our loved ones uh, have caught out of this lake, open water and ice fishing because we have caught his PB pike, my PB pike, it held both our walleyes, I think, for a long time. Yep. And it, it's got our friends. I mean, it's got some giant fish. So we are finally, we're actually already all set up. So I'm going to be honest with you. We got all here a little later than we wanted. Yep. But we got all six tip-ups in the water. Yep. It is just a little bit after sunset. And yeah, now we're, we're pretty much just waiting for our first flag. This yeah. is a night bite only pretty much lake first flag could come in the next 10 minutes it could come in two hours we don't know it could no. be even longer than that we could sit out here all night but it's one of those lakes where it's worth the wait you are going to catch a giant as soon as you see a flag your heart starts racing we're going to see some blinking lights tonight and i don't even know how <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna think. it's going to be awesome first flag is going to be awesome so we're going to get right into it like nick said everything's all set up it's basically a waiting game now We'll see you guys when we get hooked up with that first fish. Well, that did not take long. Probably about 10 minutes after our intro, we got our first blinker of the 2022-2023 season. And man, I can't tell you how exciting this is. We are, man, we are some of the biggest walleye grinders when it comes to ice fishing you guys will probably ever see. It is by far our favorite species to go for. If you guys are fans of the channel, you would probably know that by just a lot of our titles and thumbnails, but I can't get enough of walleyes. And we got our first flag after dark. What do you think? Go ahead and check it? Yeah, I think we gotta go ahead and check her. All right. Here we are. Did you have it offset like this? No. That definitely could be spooled. Holy. What the heck? Okay, well, possibility of a big pike here, possibility of a big walleye. We don't know. Here we go, we're gonna go ahead and take this. Fish? Yeah, there's weeds. Some pulling here. in weeds. Possibility of some weeds. We're not in that deep of water. I don't know. I don't feel the tugging, but I still feel a lot of weight. But for just a little bit there, I definitely did feel some tugging. That scared me. Wait, oh, no, there's a fish. Oh, yeah, yep. There we go. Oh, I thought we were at the end of it. <laughs> That was exciting. Honestly, that fish just completely stopped fighting and went through a ton of weeds. I definitely thought that uh, it got off as we were pulling it in because there was just no movement. It was just coming right at the hole. We pulled all those weeds through and that one came up. First fish so of the nice, 2022 nice bike though. 23 season. Yeah, that probably is a- over 30 inches. Yeah, it's probably right around that 31, 32 inch mark, but it's fat. That was a nice fish. We're gonna go ahead and Get a release on them here, but wow. All right, guys, here we go. First fish of the night, of the year, going back. There he goes. Oh, that is exciting. Not an absolute giant, as we were saying earlier, but you could tell even on a fish that's right around that 30 inch mark, it's got some girth. So when you start to see fish that are on that 35, 36 inch range, they get some big bellies on them. And this lake is not shy of pulling out a 40. It has been done multiple times now, and we'll see what happens the rest of the night. I would expect most of our fish to come through the hole are going to be walleyes, but you truly just never know. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead, get everything all reset up here. 
hopefully it's the first fish of many. Looks like it's gonna be my turn here. Luckily for me, this tip up is fully after dark, which I mean, I guess it could be a pike, but I'm hoping this one's gonna be a walleye. First of the year, I'm gonna go ahead and go check it out. Well, here we are. This one is spooled. Just like the last one, it is completely facing that way. So we go ahead and just pull it right away. This ice is definitely a little thinner over here. All right. We got weight. Definitely a fish. Yep, there's the head shakes. I forgot what this is like. <laughs> Hand lining? What is this? I don't think it's very big, but it doesn't feel bad. It's not tiny. There's more weight now. It's getting close to the hole here. I'm guessing it's for sure over that 23 inch range. I have to guess. That might be even bigger than that, I don't know. My gauge is gonna get better as the season goes on, trust me. I just don't remember what this is like. God, head shakes are big, it's actually probably a big wall. Big head shakes, my yep, God. we at the leader. Oh yeah, big, yeah, big, big fish, big. he's right below you. Yeah, it's, it's big. That's a big fish. It's not a magnum, but it's, it's a nice wall. Here he comes. No, that's, no, that's big pretty fish. big. That's pretty big. Oh Holy boy. Holy cow. That's 26 for sure. Look at him standing below the hole. He's right here underneath Nick. Head's coming towards the hole. Ooh. This is the part I hate. Here he comes. Look at that. Oh, that's definitely a fat wall. My god. Are you going to need a hand? I should be able to get him. I'm just going to tire him out. Problem is the ice is not thick enough to where you could get his head up. Problem is here, something goes wrong when I grab it. He's just going that way. There's no, there's no grabbing because no, most of the time they're in the hole. This is a big fish, dude. God, this makes me nervous. My heart is just racing right now. Oh boy. Jeez, this is insane. I don't know if I've ever seen a wall I put up this good of a fight. Must be that early ice. They're still in that fall stage. <laughs> They're just hungry, aggressive. Oh my God. Man, he just will not give up. Most of the times you can pull him right to the hole, but this guy, my God. This might be bigger than we think. I yeah, don't know. Honestly, it's hard to say until we get it off. Here he is. Man, that's a big Y. Okay, that might be the last run here. Come on, here we go. Oh my God. Come on, baby. Nope. Every time I get her close, she head shakes. Okay, this could be it. Yep, there we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my <laughs> God. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh my God. That is probably a 28 inch walleye. An absolute dinosaur for Northern Wisconsin. You can tell it's got the split fin. This is probably a super, super old fish. <sighs> Man, that was one of the craziest fights I think I've ever seen oh my out of a God. walleye up here in the ice. <laughs> oh my. Well, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna unhook him quick. I don't know how bad he's hooked and get the tape measure out, which we thankfully brought today. Yes. Get a measurement and show you guys this fish a little bit better. Go ahead, plop it up on the tape measure here. We've got, I don't know if you can see that or not, almost a 28 inch fish. 28 inch walleye. 28 inch, uh, I think they figure these things to be almost nine pounds at 28 inch up here and this lake builds them a little different but that is for sure 20 i'd say 27 and three quarter on a good day nine pound walleye up here in northern wisconsin absolute dinosaur first walleye of the ice fishing season for me i'm gonna <laughs> i'm setting goals that uh 
are crazy. As you guys know, if you've been following the page for a while, we've been chasing that 30 inch up here for the last, well, my whole life, but the last couple years we have come extremely close. And this fish is just another one for the memory book. Not quite that memorable one of 30, but man, almost 28 inch fish up here. Absolute giant. There she goes. She can see her, look at 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 her. Oh yeah, there she goes. She like came back towards the hole. <laughs> wow, that was so cool. That fight was incredible. I mean, seeing the fish multiple times just made me way more nervous than I really should have. Uh, I am using 15 pound fluorocarbon, in case you guys are wondering about our leader setup. Um, I know in years past we've used 12, we've used 10. This year I decided to just step it up um, so I'm a little less nervous, um, especially at the hole, just, you know, maybe you catch a two throng or something like that and it just cuts that floor. But yeah, 15 pound braid, still clear enough in these clear lakes to obviously catch an absolute giant like that. Maybe in a little bit here, we will talk to you guys just a little bit about our tip up setup, um, tell you how we like to rig them and everything like that. But if we keep getting flags, we're gonna keep catching fish. And if that one already hit and it's the first walleye of the night, it could be a crazy night. Well, it has been about 20 minutes since I last caught that giant walleye. So we just wanna go ahead, show you guys how we like to set and rig our beaver dam tip ups because it is a common question that we get on a lot of our walleye videos. And I mean, you could go back and watch it because we usually talk about it in most of our videos, but we wanted to give you a rundown, really short and simple, just how we like to do these. So to start off, as Nick mentioned, we always use beaver dam tip-ups. Uh, we don't really mess with any other brands just because you buy one of these, you take care of it, you oil it up at the end of the year, and these are gonna pretty much last you your lifetime. How we've got them all set up here, obviously, so this is your piece of wood going through, and here's your flag. Beaver dam's got all sorts of different colors and options and stuff like that. Uh, that's all up to you, your choice. So what we like to do is start out you got just normal tip up line on there um, that's your braided line and you're basically going to take that entire spool spool it up with however much you feel is necessary so after the normal just tip up line then we get to the stuff that actually matters now if i roll this out we probably got like a four to six foot fluorocarbon leader and to this we have from the braided line we have a swivel and then we just tie that directly to our fluorocarbon. Now the fluorocarbon that we are using, we have tried a couple brands in the years past. The brand that we like, there's two really. One is P-Line, and the other one that is actually on these tip-ups that we are running right now is Seaguar Blue Label. This is 15 pound, 100% fluorocarbon. Like I said, four to six feet. Um, it does vary. We do fish a lot of clear water, so the longer leader is just gonna give you more of a benefit um, in catching those finicky fish just because if you're using the normal tip-up line if that's shorter and they can see that it might spook them off so a lot of the times we like to keep it as simple as possible especially up here in northern wisconsin on those clear lakes if you guys are fishing darker water um, you can get a little fancy with it and add beads you can go through and add like a swedish pimple anything like that but right now in this clear water we like to keep it simple as you can tell just a sinker just a sinker and that's going to keep the minnow down towards bottom rather than just letting it swim all over the place so you can see that we just got one hook just yep. one red treble yep We've, over the last couple of years, red trebles have really been the ticket. Yeah. Yep. And smaller too. Um, yeah. Probably the smallest size you can go, the better, but I think this is a size 10. Yep, size 10. If you're going for pike, you can maybe go to like a size six or eight. We usually, I think, stick to eight. Um, but for walleyes, size 10, 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, keeping it simple. If you guys are interested in any of the products, that we use here on the channel and you want to get it for yourself we'll leave everything down in the description we are not sponsored or work with any of these companies it's just stuff that we've trialed and error over the last couple years that we like to use and show you guys on film obviously you can see we catch fish with it so if that's something you're interested in we'll leave it all down below you guys can pick up whatever you want the biggest thing for us is that we want to show you guys how we like to catch fish so that way you guys watching at home can take it to your home lakes and then use the information that you see on our channel to help you guys bring more walleyes topside because walleyes can be a pretty tricky fish, especially ice fishing. They are super finicky, you know, depending on the moon phase, the sun phase, all this stuff, 
it does get a little complicated so any little tip that we can do to help you guys out we try to do here on the channel i guess now we're just gonna sit in the dark we really got nothing out here we got some snacks i think some Chex mix mm -hmm. i think we're literally just gonna sit on this frozen lake up here in the middle of nowhere out in the dark and just wait for that blinking red light yep we've got a blinking red light here let's go ahead and god what a glorious sight check it out all right tip up light is put away it looks like it's going out to the deep water and it does look nearly if not completely spooled no not completely feel a little bit of tension but not a lot there he is fish good one is it? yeah feels good oh boy trying to get that line on there Yeah, felt decent. Still feels good. Head Hard, shakes? No head shakes yet. I just feel weight. Okay, we're getting close to him here. Yeah, now I feel him. Head shakes. No visual yet. Oh, he's tugging. Okay, we're at leader. There he is. Not a giant, but a good walleye it looked like. Oh yeah. Well, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. I will say, I can tell this is not quite as big as Nick's, but it is a good walleye. Here we go. I'm sorry to set the, set the bar so high, but Ooh, that's still a nice walleye. That is a nice walleye. Take a look at that. Wow. Whoa, look at that. Look at that dorsal. Look how short it is, and then it comes back up just a tiny little bit. I've never seen anything like that. That is a unique fish, probably around that 22-ish range, 23 maybe. Not a giant, not nearly as big as Nick's was, but healthy fish to say the least. And it's rewarding when we come all the way up here and we went through a little bit of a lull. But that is my first walleye through the hole of the 2022-2023 season. That's why we come up here, that's why we grind for them, man. All right, we'll go ahead and give you guys one last look at them. Just measured it. 24 inch walleye going back let's go ahead plop them back in there that is a really cool fish very neat so beautiful up here Ooh, had a little shower <laughs> there we go 24 inch walleye and a 28 inch walleye it's been a slow night we had a grind for that fish it's probably going to be one of our last fish of the evening just because uh we're way up here and it has been kind of a long day for us, so I don't know how late we're going to stay out. We'll give it a couple more minutes, see if we get another flag, and uh, yeah, it's been a great way to start the 2022-2023 season for us. Can't, uh, can't argue with fish like that. So we are at our last tip-up. We started pulling them just a little bit ago, and we're going to get on out of here because we have been out here for quite a long time. I think this is our four or five after dark now and uh yeah we caught two walleyes but that is okay like we said in the intro for you guys this is not a lake that you're gonna come to and catch a bunch of walleyes at no we come to this lake because we want to catch a giant and we definitely did that if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure to give it a like Leave a comment down below if you guys want to see more walleye content because, like I said, it is one of our favorite things to do. It's kind of like our bread and butter when it comes to ice fishing. Uh, Tip-up walleye fishing is just what we like to do. So if that's something you guys like also, let us know down in the comment section below. This is definitely just the start. Like I said, this is the first, first, first outing, outing yeah. and I caught almost a 28-inch walleye up here in northern wisconsin first fish that caliber i mean truly blessed that we know such great fisheries and have such great fisheries up here and yeah it is going to be one hell of a year i'm super pumped just the beginning hopefully you guys are as well so as nick was saying thank you guys for joining us we're blessed for the opportunity if you guys want to see more big walleyes coming this year make sure to hit that subscribe button below 
Also hit the notification bell. Leave a comment for us. We'd greatly appreciate it. We love going through if you guys had any questions uh, regarding what the ice conditions are up here up north. If there's anything that you have questions on as far as our equipment as to what we're using. Make sure to leave it all down below for us. Again guys, thank you so much for the support so far this year. It's just the beginning. We're just getting started. We'll see you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NBA.